Hi everyone, welcome to another GDevelop video and today I'm proud to show you my latest project, GDevelop Particles, which you can now download for free. Okay, so this is the project. Uh, this is basically a collection of 20 particle effects created in uh, using GDevelop. And um, uh, the reason I created this, uh, there are two reasons. One is I will need those effects anyway uh, later on in my own games. And the second reason is just I wanted to show what you can actually do with the particle system in uh, GDevelop. Uh, so um, before we start, uh, just to let you know, you can just click on the link in the description below and download this project, the GDevelop project. It's, it's free and you can just uh, start using it, messing around with it. But uh, if you want to know more, just continue watching uh, till the end uh, and I will show you and explain you a little bit how to use them uh, in GDevelop and explain a little bit of the events and the, the particles themselves. So first of all, you know, this is the interface of the project. You can change the background to see how the, uh, each particle effect look on dark or bright backgrounds. You can show or uh, hide the frame uh, around the particle. You can navigate uh, from one effect to another. Um, there are some links here. Please click them and you know subscribe to YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord. The links are all here. And there is some basic information about this project. So uh, one important thing here, uh, I think, so you know, some vi uh, visual effects they, they use images uh, generated by Photoshop brushes. So I just created some of these images using the brushes from brusheasy.com. And uh, you know those are free, but uh, if you if you use some of this, uh, some of those images, just uh, mention those guys, and you should be fine. Uh, so yeah, let's start. So this is the basic fl uh, flame. Um, it's just uh, made with these uh, dots. Um, nothing special. I just added a glow here in the middle. Uh, we have flame with sparks. Uh, this is the same flame, but there are some sparks here. Um, some smoke added. Uh, this is um, uh, I'm using an image here actually to create the smoke. Uh, then we have explosion. Those are the same particles, just uh, with the different uh, setup to create this uh, nice explosion. Uh, we have uh, a energy explosion. Uh, I've just added the different colors here and uh, lightning texture, so it creates this nice effect here uh, we have a little bit more advanced fire so it does it's not made with the circles anymore uh, this is done with actually uh, textured images all of it so this looks a bit more uh, realistic uh, next one this is my favorite uh, I really love it it's kind of a magical effect but it leaves this nice trail of uh, purple smoke behind and it has some sparkles around yeah I really like this one you can draw some stuff with it as well. Uh, then we have dark magic. So something is going on there. Something is not right. Okay, this is using the same texture of the smoke uh, behind, but I just made it bigger in this one. Um, creepy hands. So this is a good example of the, those brushes I told you before. So this one is uh, from brushesy.com. This hand. Uh, it's free to use, but you should mention uh, um, the website if you use this texture. Uh, I love this one. I love pixel art, so I love everything that looks like pixels. This is a pixel fla uh, flame. It's very similar to stuff that you can see in uh, Minecraft, or stuff like that. Uh, we have some sparks here, some soldering going on. Uh, there's another version of it, which actually leaves the trail behind. So you can draw some stuff with this as well. I think it's a really nice effect. This is my second favorite. Uh, what's up next? Uh, we have snow. We have some snow here. That's nice. Just made with circles and dots. I have another version of the snow with some snowflakes. Here you can see they appear. Okay. Um, we have hyperspace jump. It's not perfect, but it it uh, creates uh, its effect. I think. Um, what's next? Some waterfall going on. Then again, this is not perfect, but uh, kind of looks like a waterfall. You can change the background. Like imagine you have this in your game on some a mountain, and you know this is going on. I think this is this would look pretty cool. Um, some other magical stuff. 
again this uh, image is uh, created by Photoshop brushes using brushesy.com okay so if you don't want to mention uh, uh, these guys just replace this image with something that you created and you should be fine uh, we have some other energy I call it dark energy just because if you wait a little bit there's some uh, black smoke appearing in the middle so it creates this nice effect and then we have rain this is basic rain you can change settings for this like to make it um, uh, to change the gravity to change the kind of the wind effect so it goes to the other side if you want uh, this is actually created by using one particle effect there is nothing more and last one obviously we have some blood here uh, it's, uh, I think it looks nice, it's kind of a uh, slow motion blood explosion. This is created with three different uh, texture images. Some glow, uh, you can see it here maybe better. Okay. And this is pretty much it for uh, all the effects included in this version. I'm planning to uh, add more uh, particle effects with each release I will be doing for this. So at some point I'm really hoping to have uh, like around uh, you know, 100, 200 effects here. Uh, there is lots to do, lots of uh, things to have fun with. And uh, next, next stop um, I will actually show you uh, how this all works. So I have just one scene here, uh, as you can see. I have some UI elements the, which are needed for the for the interface, and I have a whole bunch of different uh, particle effects that I created here. Uh, you know, some of them, uh, if I open this one, uses a particle kind like point, right? So I don't use any external image for this. So you can see for each one uh, particle settings here. Um, I have actually a particle effects um, tutorial for GDevelop which explains you exactly which uh, uh, what uh, each of these does. So you can you you might want to take a look at that one first before understanding what this stuff does. And then I have some of the some of these which use actually image, right? So I have a whole bunch of uh, these images that I created um, here in Photoshop. Uh, again, there those are uh, created by using Photoshop brushes from brushesy.com uh, so you can create a bunch of these and try to experiment with that they will create different uh, feeling and effects for you uh, okay and you can use these ones to create some more advanced stuff again you can see uh, settings for each of these um, and you're not sure what you're doing just check my other video about uh, particle effects uh, but now how, how do you know which one is which how do you combine them together okay so uh, I try to make uh, the events very very clear what each thing does so at the beginning I only have you know the basic setup for the application so things that happen at the beginning of the scene like you know info button change the background show hide things right so this is not important for you for now but what I have here is uh, this particle effect so from here uh, you can see each each particle effect uh, how, how is it combined together? What you need to do to recreate each of the of each of this? So for example, let's take maybe this one, right? So flame plus sparks plus smoke. So I run the scene. I'll just show you uh, Which one is this? So it's the same name. So I use the same name here as, as here So you know exactly which one we are referring to So this one has uh, you know basic flame it has some sparks it has some smoke, right? So you can easily go here and check uh, which uh, objects uh, are needed to create this. So each time I just delete everything to switch from one um, particle to another. So this you will see always this stuff. These ones are actually the particles that I'm creating and combining in one. So you can see a basic flame. Okay, you just go here and you know that basic flame is this one. So I created this object. On top of that, I create basic sparks. So again, you see the name and you can actually go here and check which one is that. Here it is, okay? And so on. So you know for each for each of these, uh, sorry. So you know for each of these, which ones I'm using and you can actually go inside to each of these and check their settings. Cool. So that should be should, that should be clear enough how this is done. Uh, for some of the particles, I need to rotate them. 
because if I don't use this, the flame would go to the right, basically. So I just rotate it to the proper direction. So you, sometimes you will see this. Uh, this is just the text I'm changing uh, in, uh, you know, if you run the project. So this is where I change the text. Uh, so the name of the each particle. So you can see it here. And you can see it here as well. Uh, and on some of the particles, I actually put a glow uh, image on top, uh, just you know to make this uh, this effect. So let me show you. Here we go. So you see the little glow. So this is just a PNG image uh, which I place on some of these uh, effects, almost to any any of it, uh, because it looks cool. You know, you see this glow. That's the image. And what I do with this, I uh, change the blend mode to one, so that's uh, addictive uh, blend mode. I change its opacity as well to make it a little bit more transparent. Here I choose the color because this object is white, and but I can color it. And I change the size depending on the particle. So these are the basic things you will find almost in each of them. And you can go through, like, you know, if you're very, very interested in, um, I don't know, in this one, okay? So you would, you would like to be able to recreate this one or maybe create your own version of this or modify it. You know, it's 07 magic, right? Uh, so then here you go, we go to this project, here's magic. And here all the information and all the setup you need to know about this uh, particular effect. And you can see exactly how it is done. Uh, so I, I hope this is helpful for now it's uh, I hope now it's a little bit more clear how you can uh, use these effects um, in your projects how you can modify them where to find things how it's structured I hope it's structured in a really clear way so it's gonna be easy for you to um, to follow it and obviously uh, you can download all of this for free from my each AO uh, page uh, the link is in the description below you see there is all the information you, you, you need uh, about this project you can try it uh, online here uh, and you can download the files here so this is the main gdevelop project uh, source files so you, you need that one to actually uh, mess around with the project and, uh, and uh, try the particles and these are just executables uh, demos of, of this thing that you can try here. But I just packaged it for like uh, Windows, uh, Linux and, and Mac OS. So you can download that as well. And uh, you know, if you like this project, if you, if you want to suggest uh, new particles to be included in the next, next releases, you can do it uh, everywhere on my channel. So you can go to YouTube, there are many more tutorials, there are other cool stuff uh, that you can see there. Uh, you can go on Twitter, join my Discord, uh, there's my website here. You can leave comments here, really, really appreciate it if you have some suggestions to improve it. And, uh, you know, I really hope this was uh, useful, um, that uh, you, you, you will be able to learn something from this. And uh, thanks for watching, thanks for downloading, uh, please subscribe to my channel, check my other videos. And see you next time, maybe uh, with the new particles.